I wanted to make a quick video about this uh, awesome uh, NVIM plugin. So this is an extension of uh, Vim or NeoVim. And uh, if you, if it happens that you work on a PR with many comments and, uh, or if you just want to review the latest commits, instead of like going through uh, like the PR and seeing all the changed files, in this case, there's like 54, which is a lot. Um, there's also many conversations going on. There's many commits. So how do you normally do that, right? You can download it, uh, like uh, check it out. Then always be switched between the browser and the code. Or sometimes if you have a comment here, but that reference a code, you can you cannot really... Uh, like see more of the code, so you just see a snippet, so you would need to click here, and then uh, it's kind of slowish, and then it, it's very hard to find. So, uh, yeah, normally uh, you can switch between the terminal and uh, or the code in your Visual Studio Code or whatever you use and your browser. But with this awesome like extension, I just wanted to show how you can optimize this. So um, I'm using here an open source PR that I'm working on. So uh, the number is 17494. So if I go to my terminal and I open Wim or NeoVim in, in my case, I can, I installed that plugin. So if GitHub uh, op open uh, PR, PR and then the number, it, it fetches all the, like the, the the PR and the comments and commits and everything. So uh, let's see how that works. Oh, okay. I was. Uh, it says I'm already working on it. Let's see what, I, what did I do here? I removed that. Yeah, uh, I already uh, fixed something. I would just quickly commit it. Um, fix. So, so if I do the same, if I open it and then open it again, so it it seems to need a, a clean repository because I probably will. Yeah, download everything and uh, change. So this is now the how it looks. I'll just make this a bit uh, wider here. And you can already see it has a lot here. So uh, it might be a bit overwhelming. So you have some labels here. You have uh, it's assigned to me. And then you have the status, and then here you have the commit. So with enter, you can you can open each commit, and then it will be side by side like this. You see what has been changed. So and you can actually read here, and you can also add comments. So if I open this gh and then tap, you can see what, what we have here. So we have like uh, you can close, you can create the thread, right? The thread is nothing else than a conversation. You can uh, expand the commit. So you have a, a lot of options. What I, I want to show you is now I will go to the to the conversations. So if we go back to the to this uh, GitHub PR, if we see the conversations here. And basically my friend here reviewed my code and uh, yeah, so it starts here, and then I would like to go through them. I, I fixed already some, some already resolved. You can also see that on here, right? So if you see here the arrow like this, these are resolved. And all the open ones, they're, they're still open. So you see I uh, added here a comment, and then I resolved it. So what I would do, I would now uh, go like uh, open uh, each comment. So here we have, we need to update something. This here, I think I replied already. 
Yeah, so let I, I'm just searching a comment where I want to do something. It needs a bit of time to get used to it, but essentially what you see here, this one is the conversation, you see the time, you see the user, you see his comments, and this above is the the actual reference of the code, but on the left side I have the whole code, right? And because I'm in a, like a text editor, I can actually, I can go to definition, I can uh, like go, I can see all the code, I can go up. So as you can see, I'm really, as I would code, right? So you have all the options. You can also start changing here things and writing it. So it's really a nice workflow that you can do both in one. And um, blah, 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 blah. yeah, I'm just adding a test comment here. I can remove that afterward. But if I say, uh, okay, test comment. And then with uh, control, S, I can uh, save it. So you see uh, it's fetching review and now it's saved. So if we go back to this and we reload it. Um, test and search for test. It's a <laughs> quite a long one. So uh, where is my test comment? Let's refresh again. No, it does not work. Hmm, I just used it before. Let's, this comment, where is this comment? Is it already resolved, no? Let's search one that is here. For example, this one, we spent so much so that, that's supposed to be the last one. So if I go down and open here. So you see here the comment, you see the lines here. So if I expand this, I just put test now and control S. Okay, now it's saved and hopefully now we see it. I think the other one is already see so now it's here. So essentially you can do everything from the terminal. If uh, if I would hit uh, control R then it will resolve it. And uh, it's a really nice way of uh, going through the if you have uh, many conversations and you need to check code, in, which is the case in my, in my case. So just wanted to quickly record this if in case people uh, actually, I, I didn't use it extensively yet. So uh, I guess there's uh, much more to know or better ways to use as well. But uh, already this kind of workflow is huge for me and uh, just wanted to record that there. Yeah. Let me know what you think about this or how you use it.